Esalen ene na damfu ayye afiba. A omu kupi mu ewa Nigeria. Se omu kwa wedin. After the wedin obe to inkrame duya ane ababe ene juma ewa takrade. Mungi na mungi mstore na ameka huwa se mno. Eh, si se Nigeria fwa no e ma update. Different different ones. Mungi se story na abe to osa ano. Nigerians na omu ono so ewa media no so. Na omu so follow ewa story no. Omu so di update be babo ntengi afa sa asem no ho. Na si se update a babo ntengi se okunu kura babo ntengi a babe kasa. E di afa ewa na yere na okwa ye. Oni kunu che se sika wa okwa kwa ji amam fwa che se wo yi hukap. Na okwa ji hundred eh, one million naira wo se di. Se one million gana si di su se di endi eno. Ni kunu se sika ni kure swa. A wo di ba ewa ni kuru mu sika na se dollar se kura ni ndu five hundred dollars. Da di tina ye be se e jume di eno. So okwa kwa ji sa one million wo se wwa wwa eno. Inti okunu a babo nteng a bedin komo e di afane yere no case na e da babo nteng no hon. Yonko ni yonko tini kunu nse mwari tuja. The question is, Please, uh, the day your wife, what was your wife's name, sorry, Afiba. Afiba. The day Afiba was traveling to see Andrew, did she tell you she was going to see Andrew in Portacourt or Aba or Abuja or anywhere? Well, okay, okay, here's the thing. When Afiba travels to another country, um, she tells me, I'm oh, so, so, of course, she consults me, I'm going to this country, uh, what do you think about this, what do you think about that, and I tell her, oh, this place is this way, this place is, uh, what are you taking with you, how long are you staying, so we do a study, all right, and then she travels to the country, and every time she's traveling from a state to another, she tells me about it, this is a totally different thing, I've never experienced this with her, I've never experienced this with her, and, and to, I'm not defending a fever i don't i want to know if she's alive or not and she she and her and selling that's what we want to know to be honest with you i know but what i want to say what i want to say my wife would leave one would leave dubai for one million naira like for real like i said doesn't have money every and Karen sends his uh girlfriend money every month uh, not every month even in the same month every one two three weeks whatever whenever they need we send and we are are both working and we are both non-african citizens so if these people are saying that these uh, girls are hookups please the public and the, the police doesn't know who's involved in this case they thought oh they're just another two nigerian ladies i said before afiba has two degrees she has a business in nigeria uh, in ghana she's not a, a rich person you know but she's She's making it through life. That's what I can say. So, if you tell me, uh, how much is one million naira even? Like $600? Uh, I'm sorry to say, but it's not even a flight ticket. If, if their private part is worth only one million, which, which means each, each of them is 500,000. That's why, when I heard the case since day one from Commander Oracle, from the ABBA state, he called me, he said, Andrew is saying that your wife, listen to this, he said, your wife asked for one million naira. And then Andrew said, it's too much. He cannot pay for it. And then Afiba said, you know what? We are going to say that you kidnapped us because you won't give us the one million naira. And then this happened. Now, Andrew, the same person, comes again and send us another conversation with Selin saying that, oh, that your wife, oh, she, she I requested for that amount and he didn't agree and it was too much and then later uh, they got angry and they left his house they left your house without their purse they left your house without their passport they left your house without uh, without their money how how did they leave your house without all these things what did they use to take a keke or walk or whatever what did they use he's a liar alive he's alive this guy is alive we requested today for the two people to go and check his identity. Nobody allowed us to do that. No, nobody allowed us to go to the mortuary because this, this man's body doesn't exist there. It's not there. I can but tell you. Harrison, Harrison confirmed he saw the body. Ma'am, ma'am, he saw the body. It could be just someone else lying down, putting some, uh, you know, a color, the red color on his, uh, this thing, shirt. He saw no, the body. He, did we you see the identified face? Identified the the fam the similarities of what Harrison saw. Ben also confirmed because um, Har Andrew did a video call with Ben whilst he was with the police when he was driving.
true. It's true. All of this, but I can tell you one thing: the police is very smart, and this Andrew is very smart. They could just tw switch the shirts. They can do anything. It it doesn't take them. It, like this proof is nothing. Until I put my two fingers on his neck, and I see that there's no nerve. His his heart is not beating. I would never believe that this guy is dead because the Aba police obviously they are just ridiculous i've been calling them speaking to them trying to do my best and they tell me oh you know what uh selin might be playing pranks on us and uh, she just came on snapchat and none of that is true none of that is true she has never been online and none of that is true so they were even favoring andrew all this time he had his phone in the cell he was well fed he was well groomed he was well dressed and he was doing whatever he wants and he was watching all the allegations against him and he was creating a compelling story to the public so he can flee from it that's why i'm saying all of this is a lie andrew has created a, a scenario in his head he's a psychopath the way he laid the ladies the way he laid my wife i know how my wife were uh, asleep actually this is an abnormal he, she's not lying normally she's not yeah. lying normally yeah. why is her breast covered with the wig this is really uh, on purpose it's scripted it's scripted it's like a movie why did he why is the nakedness of the ladies not showing in the video neither of them the body is perfectly positioned that it covers selin's body and it covers her body too which means he knows he said he's sending this video to the public and he knows that this video is if it's published on facebook or instagram it would be taken down because of nudity so he covered these things so this would always be on social media i would never take it, be taken down these are not only assumptions you're making the the very first assumptions we made since day one were all right 95 percent of the assumptions we made about andrew since day one myself and um selin's boyfriend were when nine percent right we are not saying we are smart we are not saying we are investigators but we just think logic and we want to say the truth so what has been ha happening now there's a lot of dragging there's a lot of uh, delaying in times there's a lot of non-taking actions i want to bring two things before I, I close this call two things first if that andrew is saying that they left his house who was viewing my messages sent to my wife who was blue ticking me blue ticking means viewed the message read yes, the message it, yeah. i was sending my wife messages he was viewing the messages and he was never replying he was never replying the messages and that was until he was arrested on the 8th of may that guy stopped viewing the messages the day he was arrested she went offline forever he was the one checking everything. He was pl playing. He was trying he to create a compelling yes, he had their phones. I'm an engineer. I'm an engineer, and I can tell you two things from from all this case. Uh, it doesn't add up. First, you can change your IP address without going to another location. You can change your location of where I am now. I could re literally put myself in America. Second thing, this car is an E2020 uh, 220 Mercedes Benz 2017. That car doesn't have the technology which is called mbux of mercedes which has facial recognition that car doesn't have it it's it's the low it's the low um model of mercedes it's not the s class it's the s class and the maybach that has these options it doesn't have it and these uh, these people lied they said oh they had to put him in the seat so that the car would recognize him it's a i'm sorry to say it's a lie it's a complete lie I'm telling you this. This technology doesn't exist in 2017 in Mercedes cars, especially this model. We believe you. We believe you. Go back, uh, going back to the other thing, he was creating a compelling story to the public because he knew that he w w what he has done. All right. So we want to know the dates that he sent these messages. That he sent the these messages and he said oh when can you come to this and then uh there's the, yeah. that one million yeah. naira whatever. we want to see the dates because he could have used their phones chatted himself from selling's phone replied the message chatted himself again replied the message i agree if with you look you. at the time Possible. i, I agree with look you at the times. these minutes it's just in the same minute he's replying
and those are not replies of selling i spoke to a family i spoke to a boyfriend she doesn't write, reply that way that's an english reply from an english man that's not a nigerian lady's reply okay. nigerian ladies reply a certain way this is a clearly english reply he was the first person doing all this and i, yeah, I, and I I'm, I, let's yeah. him bring it up let him bring it up let him bring it up i'm very sure that a lot of things we don't know about andrew but i'm i can really i can really assure you he wants us to see what he wants us to see he is creating a story and he's showing us what he wants us to see we he, he's he's preventing us from seeing the truth so back to the six day whatever journey police was on uh, uh, outside of his house and they they stood up about like eight hours trying to enter from the, the the building from the top and he said if you enter if you break the door on me i will shoot myself why would you want to shoot yourself if you don't know that you did something so bad that would take you 50 years in prison to recover from it why is the public not asking all these questions why is the public like not asking all these questions we have to wake up this is a full story it's a made-up story this guy is a criminal he's been doing this for a lot of ladies and he's been covering up all his neighbors have to be questioned all his neighbors the cctv camera in that state has to be even uh, tracked there's a cctv camera in the state uh, where he's where he like the where he where, the compound he's in all that needs to be tracked all that needs to be tracked why is his house bulletproof why is the police not asking all these questions this guy knows what he's doing very well and he's been prepared for it then the video that my wife sent shows two uh two pillows on on a chair and it's like that someone was making himself comfortable and you could see pieces of plastic broken on the ground which means a str some struggling was happening there some struggling was happening there um the person who asked me to get two million naira um or like send two million naira to him was darlington which is the boyfriend of blessing and blessing is the friend of afiba and selin and he was always calling me twice or thrice a day asking me not to mention his name into all of this so why did he ask me for that uh, i'm very sure he has very good connections i don't know if he's a politician i don't know his family name but i can get all these details um i, I was pressured a lot to send this amount so he can send the squad to the uh to uh, to abba or whatever it is and they can take custody of andrew and he said that he has contact with the igp people and i said all right if this will bring my wife in selling I'm ready to do that, mate. Tell you after he transferred the money, he was pressuring me to not mention his name and not mention and bring his name in this. He was always constantly calling me, "Please don't bring my name in this. I don't know who's involved in this. This is this could be bigger than me and you. Uh, I don't know why Blessing left and fled from Port Tarkot to Abuja. This Darlington and this Blessing has to be t uh, uh, questioned. Why did Blessing flee?" from um port Harcourt to abuja when the police asked her to come and and give her statement why did she flee there when uh when andrew was in custody on the 7th of may on, on the 8th of may i'm sorry he was held on the 8th of may why did she write unknown criminal when that guy was in custody he was in custody and he used that, that part of no. was published on the 10th of may the the paper the paper the allegation was published on the 10th of may how and andrew was on the 8th may held for the police how did you write unknown person what why, why would you do that you know who's the guy you know his name you know his family name you know everything and the igp um uh, in, in nigeria how would they publish something where it's written on it unknown i want to ask this question how would you publish a whole allegation against an unknown and the person guy was already in the police custody in another state and they are writing a petition to abuja and they are putting unknown as if no arrest has been done i'm i'm getting what you're question. saying I want to ask you a question. let's be reasonable here okay let's be reasonable how would you ever think the police can catch an unknown person it's like 
Sorry, you just tell uh, who is the criminal, and you tell him, "Oh, it's called X. The criminal is X. We don't know who the criminal is. How is the police going to be able to uh, do Arrest this?" So this allegation job. doesn't stand. This allegation doesn't doesn't stand. It doesn't make sense, and it was all false and fake in front of the two families to show that oh, she's doing things. I really believe myself and the families that this blessing has something to do and she knows more than what she's portrayed do you to know be blessing you. very well she do you knows. know blessing's full name do you know anything about i don't blessing know blessing that... very well i don't know very blessing very well to be honest with you i've been warning my wife since i met these two ladies that listen these two ladies i mean uh selling is I, I mean i don't know them you know i don't know them so i just say please stay away of these people please stay away of these people and and uh, this is just something from you know i'm trying to protect her that's all i don't know them i don't have any, any anything against them i don't have a stereotype in my mind but please stay away don't do trust here don't do this oh they are not like that and this and that hello ebusiafo so opesi fita asura chow do for de and they're not for one kodom is unique laser whitening unique laser whitening i will toothpaste to strong kwa what did you choose say and i will see a fita Na eye fita non suno. Na e ye and cow bunny beer e wo no mu bea. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain si bea. Unique laser whitening product. Ebe ye ni ni ne free swama o kama kama kama. The oba ni se uchu so. Na u di be gu. O brush it so. Na u de chuchu sene sun yina kama. U via and wu hu wenu mu janu wa wenu musa. Inti fre unique laser whitening. E wo zero seven nine. Nine nine seven nine two three three zero. Unique laser whitening. I say money says. Alright, in some say, and I need to know so. Eddie Tuja, a brana, a woman, been for your program, no course, or could this uncle mono. Now, a one of the ladies, sir, watch the say, na or can't, and call for a bra, a baba way, and as a branty, no person, and I'm so. Edge or moon quan edi for moon semino. It be a barb one tin a becasa or one man be offended the freeze a fidio so. Now lead needs a more walk and say a quana de or mafia ye pa. U we are on one a damfo and so a becasa na a free so a year one guy been swa on so what information pan to was a yes up a pay of him send a damfo panono on so be din como edia fasaki yen quoti in some one or more much le say or mo co papa nasi and I say Andrews Nasia eh asem koto o mo sisi e kasade anlos ni wawu om di dead body ni kwa ba ya 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 yen kwete victims ni bi so somo mli tuja please me so can i have my camera now no oh, okay my sister all right so we know we are talking to a real person okay okay um mr ben i have some few questions for you because andrew edwards it was six days and during that period he was recording everything i was saying to one person are you the he was sending everything so i want to know because no that period, I like he was recording everything i was sending to one particular person i don't know who that person is are you the person he was sending no to? no and okay and the day he wanted to buy me let me use it the day he wanted to buy me he told me some few things he was like he's going to remove my o r g a n mm -hmm. he said he's going to remove my o r g a n Mm -hmm. Then it will, it will remove your head. Uh, yes, and my so people will think you use me for R I T U A L. So that that way that way you do that, into, people will think you use you for that. Mm -hmm. Yes, you said he's not into that stuff, but he told me with he told me he wanted like he will, because he he brought out two sharp two N I V E. Mm -hmm. He brought out two, an other sharp object with a wrapped nylon, and he uh -huh. told me what he said. He said he wanted to remove my L I V R and my K I D and E Y. So why? So why are you did not defending him that he's not into that stuff? Why? No, which stuff are you talking about? Re harvesting. She's talking about harvesting. I don't want us to talk too much on it. I don't have a clue about that one. Then you should just be defending him. You, know what you shouldn't. You shouldn't. I don't know. He don't do that. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not gonna come here and start telling you what I don't know. All right. What I don't know. Okay. Okay. Uh, and okay. And secondly, you friend. have my hello, like that you have friends. my. Can you? Hello. Yes. That is Prince. Yes. Mr. Yeah. Ben. There's a 
video you have in your phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the girl. You have that video in your phone. You Which have video? my video. And that's the you video have, I you have this girl's to my video. boyfriend. How come I'm to send that video to you? Tell me. I can send that oh, video to you. You have that video. Video, video. Video. Hold on. Is it what what's what's your name? My name is Rachel. You are the Rachel. You, do you know a girl called Amaka? It was when I posted Andrew. Amaka that, that Amaka the post. reached out to you. Yes, she reached out to me. Was like this this same person invited me. I was the one that saved Amaka. It was when I posted him. His friends were sharing the pictures. Why am I new up? I need I, I chatted some few bloggers. I chatted very dark man. I chatted um this blogger with some other bots. They did not respond to me. I was not looking out for myself. I was just trying to save others, but everyone ignored me. I was just fighting this thing, this battle alone. Just me and my God. That your vi that video, okay, Harrison. That video I showed to I just I don't know. Is that the video? That, that is the video. That is the young lady there. That, yeah, that, that, that video, video. That one. That video. Yeah. That video. Andrew sent that video on the when did they travel to Abuja? Yeah, when so they were on the third. Well, when See, sorry, going... let me cut you short. I'm not sure he sent that video that day because Andrew no, that sent was a message to my mom. Andrew that sent was when I was posting the video. someone you was can, giving and information for my contact. And that was the day he sent the video with a, a verifiable thought. I am not sure not that gonna... was the day he sent that video because Andrew threatened me that he had a blogger friend. This, I'm just saying this and I'm not scared of anybody again. He said he's going to disgrace me and my family. Meaning, I understand so many of my so many things about me. Even when he was forcing me before my God, God did my my this thing came out. He was recording everything. I was sending to one person, and I believe that person is you. You are the person he was sending all those things to. And why is he sending those videos to you? Why? I can understand your frustration. Yeah, that that's the question you should be asking because he sent you. He sent that video. <laughs> he sent the video. Listen, please. Listen, please. I know this is a very disturbing I'm situation. Listening. He sent the video on the day because when that situation come up, did you? He said you took his watch. This guy took my watch and jump. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Same, same, same accusation. Yes, that's same, what same you accusation. You accused that guy from stairs. Yes. He said you sent. He said you you took his wrist watch, his Rolex watch. Okay. But why? Is and you this guy came and stole my Tell me why he's telling you. Like why is giving you all this information? He said, now, now, let me ask you a question, my darling sister. You what's say, your name? Hold on, guys. Say, let me ask the lady a question. Okay. My name, name is Rachel. Is... Okay, Rachel, okay. Rachel. Daddy, please. How did it. you meet? Okay, how did you meet? Okay, Andrew? okay, okay. Let me ask you. Like, I've been friends with Andrew since twenty, since last year. So, like, Andrew likes to me. Does not base in Nigeria. He said it's based in UK. So we are friends, like. When I like when, I, when, I, when I'm down, I will like call him for advice. I used to advise me like if I'm to advise you, like you think he's a very responsible person. So <laughs> a day, he sent me a video. Was like, eh, he wants to come down to Nigeria. That he would like, like, he, likes, he would like to invite me for his mom's birthday party. Hmm. He sent me transport. He sent me fifty k transport. Gave me the uh, hotel address, which is Pan New. That same Pan New hotel. He took Selene to. So when I went to the hotel, when I went to the hotel, I used both. I went to the hotel. I saw it was like he, 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 I should I, I should accompany to go get a present for his mom, for his mom, a better best present for his mom. That was how we drove from that hotel to Market Square. For Market Square, I was driving to another direction. I was like, where are you taking me to? He was like, eh, he wants to go to his family house, so his sister would tell me where to get my makeup done. That was how I followed Andrew to his house. The minute I got to Andrew's house, I was sitting there trying to update my friend. The next thing I received on my face was punch. I looked back, it was Andrew. I was like, what's up? What did I do to you? He was like, I hate you. You don't know how I hate you. I hate you. This, that. He was like, if you want to go my life, anything I ask you to do, just do this. Mm. Andrew collected my phones. I was responding to all my Instagram message, my WhatsApp message. That was why I said, that, that chat you posted is fake. That chat you posted is 100% fake, Mr. Ben. Because Andrew collected my phones and was chatting people. There was one, there's one guy that was only that was so the chat. The and chat the that you say he has with you is fake. Sorry, the chat that, that is a he he has with you. Is fake. I need to see because for my for my for my observation, Andrew and Celine chat started chatting on Facebook April 7th. Mm. 
And that message, the person account just started chatting since last two years. So that I have I have everything on my phone. I have I know and I I stayed with it for six good days. So I know so many things. There are so many things I can't even spill out for security reasons. There are so many things I cannot spill out for security reasons. Some of the things you're saying are hundred percent correct because Andrew told me himself, which I will not say, which I which which, 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 which I will not speak. Did you go to but Did you go to the police to report this thing after the incident, please? Yes, I went to I I went straight to uh, contact us commissioner of police. My friend followed me there. She's even here with me. I lived because I could not walk. I it was my friend that was holding me. I lived to contact us uh, 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 commissioner of police. He directed me to anti kidnapping. When I went there, I should bring money. But and and you emptied my account. Like and you emptied my account. They said I should bring money. I, was, I, I brought money for state. Uh, like they were like, how much do I have for food to down to us? I was like. This guy emptied my account. I don't have money with me. I don't like. I, I don't have one error with me. They, they, uh, my friend told me they told her I should bring two hundred k for food to go down to Aba. That and is it. Can I you hear got, that? At the point, I got tired of the place. I start like I just got tired. I was just posting. I was trying to use blog. I was sending messages to some bloggers. I posted friends. Some few, only few friends. We posted. That is it. Can you hear? Can you hear the message now? When she went to the police. They were asking her to bring 200 grand. With her injury, when, the police I went, is asking her my condition when to I bring 200 grand. At a point, my, my, at a point, at a point my, 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 my injury got infected because of the stress, all the stress, like all the stress, they were just stressing me. Like I went through, I went to just, it was just God that fought this battle for me. It was just God. I was getting uh, now, now, I, now. I, you I were the one Andrew, that said that stressed. Andrew, when Andrew forced you, that he did both front and back. No, see, see what happened. Like it was just the word. Like, the way I've been coding it, please. It code was just it God that me. saved me because I saw my P. You guys understand? Before, like two weeks before I went there, but when Andrew was trying to like force me, I was praying and. B and O D O O D came out like I was even surprised because I saw my P two is fine went there, so it was like he wanted to enter through the back. He did not; it was tight, so he stopped. He was like, "I should be using my hand to." Mm. So I was. He said, "If he wants to pour, I should take all the." Hey, calm down, calm down, just calm down, calm down, please. Like he thought how I. I was I was scared. I, like I thought he wanted to just use me for R I T U A. Like if I take all of this thing, that maybe I would run mad or something. So I was I was proving stuff. I did not swallow anything. So if I don't swallow, it will flow every three three hours because I refuse to take that C U M. It was torturing me every three three hours. Like I suffered in that. Okay, Daddy Freeze. Daddy. Wow. Freeze. I, I want to correct. I want to correct one thing. Andrew does not do anything to Alashona. Andrew will make friends with you. Andrew will make. He does not do anything. That's why I don't believe that same story because I know what. Like even even Andrew. Andrew invited someone when I was there. Sent our transport. It wasn't something to Alashona. Andrew does not do anything. He will make friends with you. Andrew has different ways. Even at the matchmaking group, he used to be up for like sometimes me, but I'm step on the Mr. Ben. Andrew does not have that company to stay. Andrew does not have any business. What Andrew does is O R G A N trafficking. He does not have any business. Prove me wrong, please. Ah, you, you say you spent six days with him. He, and you and he he doesn't have any he doesn't have any business. Six good days. Listen, uh, uh, Daddy Freeze. The reason I came out to speak. It's quite clear. A Nigerian people must hear. The policy maker in our country must hear. The human affairs must hear. The, the security, the national security must hear it. This, this is very important. If me, if I was part of this agenda, do you think I'll come out? Am I stupid? Do you think I'll put my, my face out there? From the beginning, Harrison, what did I tell you? I said, yeah. I don't want this to happen again. I don't want a predator to have police protection in our country. I don't want young people, young women, vulnerable women, just like this lady now, 
to be to go through that kind of thing and have nobody to cry to because the system enabled this because if the system would have hold on to responsibility that's what do you think i would have done daddy three give me advice please what is my phone if i decide to send you anything sometimes you are shocked like what is this guy sending to me but obviously once you know where you're operating there is little you can do these people are compromised beyond reasonable doubt this girl was punished for six days right went to the police the police were asking her to bring 200 grand where does this happen if i keep my mouth quiet now another predator we will start it again and how um, that's it we can rationalize this thing we can look at how fun, there's no funny about it now there's let me ask funny. the girls some See, questions um, um i'm sorry let me say something Okay. See, uh, Mr. Ben, this is what we call medicine after it. Uh, you would have. Why did you speak up since? Speak up. Why did you speak up since? Because I'm a UK guy. Brother, let me Please. tell you, as a person, I'm she has a point, though, Ben. She has a point. There is no way I will not expose my brother. You have a great point. Yeah, no, if my friend does this, no way I will not expose him. There is no way. Because me, too, I, I try to expose Andrew, not for myself, because I escaped him already. But for other girls, that's why I was trying to expose him. But nobody helped me. It's just okay. only God I have. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to her? So if I if I try, listen to me, eh? if I try to report Andrew, maybe that video or whatever is sent to me, he sent it only to me, a Zoom, okay? And I report it. And this case went to Port Harcourt police station. They will call Andrew. They will invite him and show it to him. Andrew can look at it like this and say, oh, I sent this to this guy. This guy share it with these people and call. Andrew will hold his mouth and be waiting for me. If I go to Nigeria, the same police can come and, and, take, care of, and take, take care of me easily. So you got to be security conscious. And as I told you, go to my blog and look. I am prudent. Go to the website. There's nothing in dodgy there. It's there for people to watch. So it is so difficult for me. If it's in the UK, one phone call, one phone call, you will get the help you need. One phone call, you will get the help. But look at what she has to went through. And she tried. She tried. She tried. And everybody ignored her. The system failed her. Now, let Honestly, me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on please, please. Hold on. Very important. Mm -hmm. Very important. Please. Very, very important. When they arrested Andrew, just listen, you know, when they arrested Andrew on the 8th, have we actually asked ourselves what investigation the police carried out? Have we asked ourselves? Because we can come now and start throwing stones. Mr. Ben, you are this. No, you can never blame me for another adult person's decision. You can't do that. You have, have a whole system in place that's supposed to do their job they didn't they are compromised beyond reasonable doubt for 20 something days they did not investigate anything no arrest no manager no driver they did not go there and do anything how is it even possible and that is the that is the kind of system you want me to come and compromise myself and my security i mean i mean i'm in the uk saying this now you think i can say this in nigeria you think nigerian people will listen to me they are already in the online the police will come and take me and see for no reason. It can't happen here. Why All right. Um, I want to ask. Okay, sorry. One other question. Sorry, sorry. Go sorry. ahead. Go ahead. Go um, ahead. I want to stop that. I, 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 I had community people disowned Andrew because Andrew's true is that for forced COVID building. Can you clarify that? They disowned <laughs> the community because true is that for the forced story building. Do you want to carry this narrative and go run away with it, or do you want to hear the fact? I want to hear the fact. If you want to hear the fact, Andrew did not. I did not hear it that Andrew threw his dad from any story building. Please, <laughs> please, and please. When I met Andrew, he already, he already lost his father. Okay? And I know Andrew's mom. Okay? So I have never heard that story that he threw his father on top of but building. We need to, Whenever he hear that, but the parents, parents are not in good terms with him. Why? Why are they not in good terms with him? Uh, I beg your pardon. Like Andrew, Andrew's parents and siblings, they are not in good terms with Andrew. Why? Because I Nobody's made so many listening. research when I came out. I saw many things. I know many things about Andrew. Okay, whatever you think you know, Andrew 
went to Abba because his parents were there. So I don't know anything about the parents. That's where they are, and they can take, they can talk for themselves. I'm talking about the bigger picture here, so that predators cannot operate. The one that are cast away in the UK cannot move to Nigeria, get police protection, get everything, and do as they want. This is the bigger picture. In every society, when an incident happens, there's a lesson now, to I, be I learned. Ask this lady, ready for that. I want to ask okay. this lady a few okay. questions. I want to ask okay. this lady a few questions. My okay. dear sister, did you notice freezers, medical equipment, anything like that in Andrew's house? Mm. No. You know, no stainless steel, all those medical, medical gloves, surgical, anything. You, you've been to a hospital before, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Those kind of things that you see around in a hospital, did you see them in his house? Like, he didn't give me the opportunity because from room, the only time I went to, okay, if I, if he used, like, if I used to go to his kitchen to go out, the day I cooked, I cooked fried rice for him with GUF pointed at my head. <laughs> like, <laughs> Oh now, now let me ask you. So, he, was he? You were with him for six days. Yeah. And for the mm. six days, he was feeding you. No food, no water. How did you survive for six days? <laughs> like everything is just gone. Like it's not my no, power. So no still, food, no water. So he did not gosh. even drink water for six days. Like. I posted the video now. You, you see her eyes. Hold on. Please, hold on. Hold on. Please, Rachel. 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 Let's Rachel. her talk, brother. Let's hear from her. Calm down. Continue okay. what you are saying, my sister. I posted my video so you guys will see like how strength I was looking when I came back. And I, I, I was looking healthy when I went to Abba. I was looking really strength, like a mentally person, when I escaped him. You were the one that jumped over the fence. Yeah. Yeah, fence. Yeah, I jumped like four good fences. The first one was Babayan. So that Babayan that gave me those injuries on my leg. Can we see your leg? leg. Okay. Okay. Mm. They didn't sew it very well. Like, they didn't sew it very well. My they didn't even stitch it well. Like my hands, like hand? I could not bait. That's my leg. I could not even bait for one week. I was just being towel to clean my body, cause my hands, every like all my body was just injured. Like both my hands. It was my mom that was using towel to clean my body. Wow! 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 Wow, wow, wow. I'm, I'm totally sorry for that. Um, I think we should end now. Does uh, anybody have anything to say? Yes, please. Yes. Go, go ahead. Okay. Daddy Freeze, you have a platform. And I'm glad that you have put mouth in this. Okay? And this is the second time. Harrison, you have done absolute well. But there has to be accountability from the police. Don't forget, the girls are still missing. One of them that they found, we can't even confirm it yet. Okay? There has to be accountability. Please, ask Nigerian police, the team that came to pick Andrew. You took Andrew. What investigation did you do to make sure that, that these guys are safe? What did you want to do in New York and spend a night there? What were you doing in Benue State and spent two nights in a hotel room, drinking, eating with a, with a potential double homicide suspect that the IGO police requested for? What are they doing? Daddy Fridge, this is very important because if you can't push this, then there's no point of having conversation because these are the failures that we are talking about. You took somebody from Abba that the IG requested him to come to Abuja for questioning, for potentially harming these young kids, these, these young girls. And then you took him, you took him to Uyo, 
collected 1.5 million from him, stay in the same hotel with them, eat, give him his car to drive. How is he making any Why are you not pushing this one? Because so we can come here and the talk about question is, the why, did he, why did they now buy him? What was the story that made them buy him? This is the question we are supposed to be talking about so that you will know the bigger story. You will not know the corruption that have enabled this kind of atrocity. The same corruption that made me to see evidence that could have put somebody in jail for life and I refuse to tell my countrymen. Now I'm here talking and somebody is online telling me Ben is an accomplice. If you see an accomplice, you wouldn't know it. Okay. Okay. Um... Harrison, this is the first time I'm seeing Harrison is just quiet. He tired. Yeah, that is free. Do you want to add anything? I, I want to, no, no, no. I want to blame Ben. No, I'll let them blame. Stand. Listen, the UK I'll... is a beautiful country. Write a petition to the UK. Write it. I don't want to blame him because of the Nigerian, Nigerian factor that we have currently. The system is, is so bad that, you know, um, I watched this movie, The Blacklist, Raymond Reddington. I don't ever have watched that movie. Mm -hmm. How criminals are caught, how he, he was giving out criminals to the authorities. You know, at most times you see that criminals, you see that police, was even working with the you know with the criminals too so if for me i give information to the police it backfire most of it backfires on me too that i give information you know that was that was why i was angry at the first at ben but later i understood his own point of view why he could not do much as uh somebody who yes it's you know so for me um one thing I want to clear is that because I, I wouldn't want any victim to be shamed. So I just want that day, that screenshot from Mr. Ben that Andrew sent to him. Mm. That chat between Celine and Andrew mm. of one million naira. I'm not clear with that for now. Because I know uh, where Aunt, uh, Celine was demanding one million naira from Andrew for she and Afiba to have a get together with Andrew. Where you know where I'm where Celine demanded that one million Celine demanded one million. Yes, Andrew did not answer. I'm, yes, please. I know bloggers are watching us, mm -hmm. and that story is viral everywhere, meaning that mm -hmm. victims are being shamed. Mm -hmm. And that's what me for Har me harassing one issue. I will not like to uh to see victims shamed. Now, this girl here now, Rachel is here live with us now. She's both came out openly to share her story. Yes. People on this conversation now are calling her Olosho and the rest of this them. This is this so is how the do problem. You want, how, how do you want people to come out and speak about their Rachel, experiences don't with worry, people me and who are, are going to talk one on one when we are done? Okay. So that's that's I'm, just it. Rachel, Rachel followed me to Abuja to go and give a statement. Almost three pages of 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 um of this statement. Same Rachel. Police. Yes. This same girl. The same, that is the same girl. They chase away. They chase away. So, Yes, have you met Rachel before? Yes, I was at in Abuja at the, at the police police at the office in Abuja. Rachel, she met the police. Rachel, Sam. can you hear us? Yeah, honey. Yeah. Where you, so you know Harrison? Yeah, yeah, I followed him to Abuja for the case. Oh wow! Oh. So she. Met Statement about three pages of statement to the police detailing what transpired in Andrew's house, how Andrew brought her brought her to Abba and the rest of them. Too. Same say, and I lady all that a year squeeze you so, and I say lady, I am only chunk so at the two jar a fat a year and do's eh. Now, we know, and now one guy being so on also a what story. I mean, there's a story in the Abbott or the answer, but boys or minimum story must be dinkomo. Would be a better night, you'll be adding the input to be back idea for Kisa at the home. Now, a year one guy or ten, I see a wooden common watcher when in Cassie and we say, A brand here, I a friend, a year and do so no. Or one home formation, a one who details you. I mean, I mean, you know, maybe I was sending your brand or didn't come on the videos. A young good team, someone also only two jar a fat a year and do see you. 
Many of you guys have had me in the last few days. Fuming. Yesterday I came out. I'm like Nigerian police is hiding something. They never show us the body. I tag Harrison and I told you guys to go and tag. That was yesterday morning. It was me, first of all and foremost. Let's make it clear. At just Adetun, my sister. It was me that brought this case to the limelight. Harrison started it. It was me who carried my phone in London when I was in the car with just Adetun. And I show her for the first time this situation. She opened her mouth. She was shocked. I'm like, do you know this person is my friend? He's from this town here that we live. He said, no. I said, yes. So I told her everything. Just added to watch the video on Harrison's page. And I told just added to what I know. Because when I was watching Harrison, I know Harrison was struggling to gather fact. It was me. So before you begin to send your judgment, know what I did to make sure this case come to limelight. Just Adelton put her status as Agri-Gri-1 of Africa and the story went boom. The story went boom and I was happy about it. Bloggers begin to push it. Linda Ikeji took it. Gospel Mail took it. And all the big bloggers begin to took it. We're happy. If just Adelton asks me any content that I know I can give to her, I give it to her. And Harrison begin work. But my problem, even when Harrison was doing all that effort, I said, this is not Harrison's responsibility. Because me, I know what a police is supposed to be. But Harrison as an individual took it upon himself because the community that, the, that we are in, the police don't fail us. Police don't fail us, say, Two people pay, you catch this man for one month, you they play with him, they collect him money. You they play with him, they collect him money, they collect him money, forget about the investigation of that people. Forget about the polite of those young women, they lie for him. I get them fear fact here, and they are still lying for Harrison, they are still lying to Harrison. And Harrison, I understand you. It's not everything you go put your mouth. You did Nanja. They go do you very dark man. They go do you very dark man. If I did Nanja now, they for do me very dark man. Because those people, they are here no correct. They feel just come your house, come carry you. Make one petition, they go go lock you up. Come and carry me from UK. Come and carry me from UK. Tell Interpol, tell anybody, make it, they come carry me from UK. Me and Una know they operate the same level. My brain know they operate the same level with Una. My level know they with Una level. So Una police, they see me from behind. They follow Andrew case for two weeks. Lock this guy up inside cell. They no do one investigation. They no arrest in chef. They no arrest in, they no arrest in driver. They no arrest anybody. They no carry out search of that community and the house. They, they collect money. The guy, they pay them money. The guy, they pay them money. Make a tell Una. On the 20 something, in 22nd or so, my guy was released from Umaya. As soon as he released, after he paid 1.5 million to bail himself, to bail himself because the police told him that this is a case of self kidnap. As soon as they release him, another team appear. They say they are from Abuja, they have received a petition. That Andrew must leave, um, must come to Nigeria. See, I don't want somebody to distract me. If your brain, this, well, I don't know whatever is your name. If you are in a, in a, let me just block one person. When you understand with me how they talk, I go block your mama. Go and comment somewhere else. If you know one here, just carry your head, they go. And if you get a charge and bail a recharge card, when you want to take, make a fast comment, be careful because I'll block you. I have never seen anything against Harrison. Harrison has done absolutely godly work. Harrison has done unbelievable work. Harrison has done fantastic job. And I thank him for this. But the bigger picture is being hidden. When I know one look at Because emotion, they carry people. And this, step, this team of people, this team of people where they call themselves uh, FC, uh, very dark man FC, whiskey FC, 
If I catch anybody, they call me, uh, they call yourself my FC. I block you. I don't need FC. I need people where they, where they rational, where they reason, where they think. Because if they do FC, now when I go push person, the person no go fit talk a mind. You no go fit talk the truth. You go call the life for now. Because when they do FC, I don't need FC. So make I go back to the matter. The guy did everything possible for him to be locked up. No more cases. And they tell on the story of one of an incident in Port Harcourt, where in the knock the PRO of the case, when he, where they supposed to the jail him for. He did not come. He did knock the PRO of the case. The PRO will regularly visit to get knocked. So the guy now carry himself. They go. They, uh, the police come, come, come release him. Carry and come. Another team appear. This team will follow Harrison. Go Port Harcourt. Now the same team. The boss of that team. I go read you in message. I go show you in video. Everything. They are with Andrew. When Harrison, they talk yesterday night, after I called Harrison out, now me call Harrison, I say, Harrison, I respect what you do. You are the one that broke the news to Nigerians that you have seen the picture of this guy, confirmed pie. And on that live video we did, the first live video we did, I told you what the guy was wearing on that day. I said, the guy was wearing black top. I'm in the UK, so I wouldn't have been there to know the clothes he's wearing if I did not see him face to face. I said the guy was wearing black top with a red stripe here and with boss, Hugo Boss, written. That is the clothes, that is the day. You can see him. That is Andrew in his own car. Does he look chained to you? That is his glasses. I told you guys he was wearing a glasses. He called me. I am telling you now, this anything you hear here now fact. This is Andrew. So when Harrison they talk yesterday, say uh, when they catch him. When they, they transfer into Abuja, they carry him straight to Abuja. I say it's incorrect. They don't just carry and they go Abuja. They carry him straight to uh, from uh, from uh, Aba. They give him in car. They carry in car. They carry in clothes. They carry in laptop. They carry in passport. Police no get access to them. Police no get them. They give them. They release them. They give them money. They, they give, the police they stay for a house, chop food before they leave. Before they leave, police drink four cause four cousins. I don't know what that drink is. They say four cousin, nine B. Police drink them inside that house before they proceed to the go to that Andrew made this video. And then the text messages he sent to one of his friends in Plateau State. He said, He said, This is the room. This is the room. This is my room. One of them is asleep. The other one is in the shower. See there. Ra ra. You know, Rara, that thing where police they hold for hand. He says, see, they are Rara. I feel bad for them as they will get into trouble as I should have been in cell in Abuja already. You don't hear me, you don't hear me talk. Now, Andrew, talk to See him. Now, the text message of this. Now, he's saying, now he's Andrew send to one person. No, just text message you. Because when Harrison talked last night, Harrison talked, say, they carry on straight. Now the information where police they give Harrison be that. No be Harrison they lie. So before when I go come, they do Harrison fan base here. I they be true, be fan base to a truth. Harrison no lie. Harrison they do what he can do in the environment he is. God bless him on that. Then the video attached is the video that Andrew sent to, to the young lady. This is the video. This is Andrew. So if you want to look, if you look at that video very well, you will see police Egbe. That ain't dead up. Now police Egbe, that Egbe be that. This police Egbe, where you they see now, inside that room. Now Andrew carry. He don't frustrated. He say he won't pie himself. So one other police, he said, I took, let me read it for you. He said, this is, this is the, make I read them. You can even read it on the page as well on our telegram because we can't put everything on the page. He said, this is my room. One of them is asleep in the shower. You see they are Egbe. I feel bad for them as they will have, as they will get in trouble. As I should have been in police cell, but their boss was greedy. I paid him 500,000 today. 
and is still asking for more. Andrew sent this message. I did not say Andrew did not pay these children. Please, before you begin to run with fact, we no correct. You they hear them now. Harris no get all this thing. Harris no get her. And if you get her, you no go feel discuss him. You no go feel discuss him. You understand? Because he, he, the police no no say this case go blow like this. Now me do him. Anybody where won't argue, may come argue with me. Now me do him. So, so, when he send this video to this Omo, the Omo the right time, say, please, don't do anything stupid to yourself, please. Don't do anything stupid to yourself. The Omo right time. The whole chat is there. What I'm trying to correct is this. Police are hiding stuff. When they get to, when they get to Uyo, they spend a night in Uyo. Then they proceeded from Uyo to be Abuja. The police divert again to Benue State. They go to Benue. One police want to see his wife. Oh, let, let me finish. Let me finish. Andrew say, he said, I took their something to do myself. He said, one of them rushed from the shower and they grabbed me and they collected it. Then Andrew has to bribe them in that hotel with 1.5. No, they demanded for 1.5 million. No, they demanded for 3 million not to put chain on Andrew's leg. After Andrew did that, they say, we'll put chain on your leg and we'll tell our Oga, we'll tell our Oga, we'll tell our Oga, uh, if you do this, Andrew bribed them with 1.5. The account where the money was transferred to is there. Make they keep on lying. Make Nigerian police no join. You go see what I go do for this matter. You go see what I go do. And anyone, where on, where on, where on the bribe, on I go see what I go do for this matter. They had Andrew transfer 1.5 million. 1.5 million to the two police officers. One of the officers is the one that follow Harrison back to um, Abba to locate the remain of one of the girls. Make one of the so that the truth go explode the way it's supposed to be. Make one tag anybody where one want tag. When I tell you saying like this, it could be, like this, it could be. I get all this evidence. And these people, they lie up and down. These people, they lie up and down. I don't know what is their interest. I don't know what will be their interest. So, in that, they, in, in, after I don't bribe them in Uyo, when they try to pie himself with their Egbe, so they can't carry and they go uh, uh, Abuja. But they are not going to Abuja straight. They branch in Benue. They stay in another hotel in Benue again. Andrew called me from that Benue. I spoke to him. He said they are in Benue State. You they hear me so? He said they are in Benue State. I get the call log. I get the time. I get the frame. I said, what do you want to do for Benue State again? He said... The one wants him wife. Hey, I say wahala. What kind of he say he said this case no matter, say he no do anything. Now so he did deny him for me or make I hear on I said, Did you do this thing? He said, No, he said, Don't be silly, buddy. Say they gave me my phone. I have my phone, I have my laptop, I have my stuff, and he dressed good. He dressed good. I said, Okay. Few hours later, Andrew called me on a video call. I missed the call. That day, I went to the gym. From the gym, I decided to go to Lido to pick eggs. I was in front of Lido with my car like this. I parked in front of Lido. I received a phone call. Video call. I missed it. So I was waiting. He called again on a video call. I pick it. I saw Andrew in black with the glasses in his car. And he said, Ben, I am running away. I said, why? I thought you were going to... He said, these people have destroyed me. I have spent up to three million from about to this place right now. I am done. I'm tired. I'm running away from them. I said, where are you running to? He was driving. He was on a FaceTime with me. I swear to God. On a FaceTime with me. Like this. Like this. He has a glasses on. I did tell him. I said, well, don't run. You don't know anywhere. This guy has never been driving himself interstate. Now people, they drive him. I say, you know anywhere? Where you they run? Where you they run to? I say, they go see you. This is the word. He said, I will go and park somewhere in a village until the night and I will move. I say, they will catch you. I say, start coming back to the UK. Go tell, do you have your passport? He said, everything is in the car. Passport, laptop, everything. I said, if you are scared, call your lawyer. Go and submit yourself or go to the airport. Because me, I know if you go to the airport... They will catch him there. So I said, go to the airport. 
So that is that is the ability to negotiate in a hostile situation. I have it. So I was negotiating with him. He sent me pa, 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 text message, forward, 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 forward. Forward me the police chief, this one that follow Harrison to uh, to uh, to to Abba. Forward me message. Forward me in number. I do the wrong. Small time, the phone off. I call him. The phone no go. I call him. The phone no go. The phone no go again. I can't say. What, what has happened? I don't hear from him again. I thought. Then I call. At one point, I think at about four something, I phone. So I can hear and do phone. People, they talk on the ground. They talk. But nobody, nobody talk directly to me. Because that time, police don't fear. Because Andrew don't send police number to many, many people. Where they transport, I don't forward them to plenty of people. So I call that number. I get the number with me. I call them. They know, they know answer. The next day, so me, I come to say, maybe they don't catch Andrew, carry and go Abuja. I keep my peace. I don't tell anybody. I don't tell anybody. Say, Andrew, tell me, say, Penny for se bibro we are sent in a da ni atopno na ne pa boni fonti e wo se mo bombo hu hia na ne papa mu die pro technologies and american pharma wo ane pro technologies we are specialized in both sales and installation of cctv cameras yes on essa install cctv cameras in the sour gun and now sa bro chire na ufi o gun now beso ye cctv camera installation we need pro technologies and in sa wasu we ye cctv camera installation electric fence automated gate access control video doorbell and our intercom and our satellite tv home theater so we pay biato and our to and our person be install him out pro technologies and our self fry na shen so see you Fidia ni name from America but you and this and papa na pedia me nwe ne ho na ne bo so da form me say you know the web but you memo ha any a branch e wo Ghana ye ni mo bra wo bre into sika fire ensem se fa ni agapade ma wo Ghana wo da da na ni e tene se ye say general construction so web but you na peso si fi o Ghana e dan plan bi o peso si se wa sha si da da and na fe na peso si Plan it be a ye be see em and no it's so here solar power and our bamba won't send the idea. When you need so so near Sansuya smart home, a bear from video be a pastor, I will fear, and our chubum or the mawo, when you need so so we are just a call away. Near Sansu are there the mahine, and now Fredro Trebe Dugana. Now we pay full house, room, and our apartments are high for short term and our long term. Ye be more be any border for now bamba won't send the man you know and na ye interior decoration. So as if you know, and I yes you fear the mouth. Yes, sir. The question the best is you'll be an officer at the amount. And register what don't feed me now. Who could have first install it? And none is certain. Yeah, be at the amount. Oh, Ghana, Uber who yang, when we're off front, then tell Edward Yacha Dodoa, Uber who yeah, oh, Ashi, Yeni Emily Pharmacy, and what the same building for information or what's up 401 75 70 300 and a plus 401 69 92 254. Broad Technologies, we have the solutions for your security and home and they may need at affordable prices. Okay, now me the video will be chat to one more and the air will have a baby 28 minutes of visa that the freeze your program and a one guy bar so and a corner one also now with tickets you move into my power and my in a team for me she said branch and we're done in a one 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 so bass be dinko money be for a ginger brother and someone go for you can eat a new kuna bekein a wajin chero and it's so i'm ben samuel i run the news niger 24 news okay it's a blog okay. there's a website and there's we have staff and all that and andrew has been my friend for over 10 years okay so i know him we live in the same community in the uk and um i know i know quite a bit of him so i visited when i was in nigeria and every time i come to nigeria I do go to see him in Paracot. So mm. it's quite a very unfortunate um, situation that we're discussing about. But the conspiracy out there and the narrative out there is taking the main focus from the main reason why this thing took place, the alleged incident. Because now I used to accept it that it has happened. Now I'm calling it alleged until Nigerian police come out and speak on this do you know i want you to ask me a question anything please daddy freeze you can ask me anything when i mean anything concerning this man anything 
and I will be brutally honest with you, and I'll give you the answer without iota of a fear. And I'm very constant with it. Go ahead, sir. Andrew, Andrew. graduated in 1989. How true is that? Um, Sorry, I from secondary I'm, school. I'm you not going to go back as far as that. I didn't know Andrew then. Okay. So, but I do believe Andrew spent some his early age in the eastern part of Nigeria. He was born in the UK, and then the good thing that you guys need to know today andrew was actually adopted okay and andrew was raised in nigeria he told me this one because he explained his early um growth uh when we discuss so that's all i can say i don't know about 80 something i don't know but i do believe that may be a correct um event of his okay. life let's go into andrew's predilections um, mm -hmm. let's talk about what seems to be the norm there's an allegation that this is one of the reasons why andrew had to leave the uk this same inappropriate handling of a woman mm -hmm. how true is that i would say that is partially completely true partially true okay throw some light on it explain to us why and you he has why... he has he was in jail he went to jail in this country okay he went to jail for slapping a woman i was aware of it and is a very is a successful businessman he's a gas heater engineer the fact are there he maintained almost 85 percent of council property in beckinghamshire he maintains schools. He has staffs that over 15 staff. At one point, Andrew have more than 15 vans for staff. Minimum wages for his salary for his staff, 40 grand a year. Most of his staff are British, white British, basically. Andrew is a crafted guy. But he has a problem. Just like everyone, he has a serious mental health problem, challenges. Now, he was involved in an incident that took him to prison. And after that prison incident, his life went like this, boom, like that. So he decided, Andrew does not know anything about Nigerian culture or like, he knows, he knows he's from Nigeria. He knows he loves that he's been there before. He, he was brought up a little bit of his early age before he moved back to the UK and completely grew up here. He even to play Afrobeat. When we go out, he has cars. So when we go out and I'm playing Afrobeat, he never enjoyed it because it's not his kind of thing. When I see him, his life was completely a mess after he came back from prison. So that means he lost his businesses. He lost all his businesses. He has to because he's maintaining property for the council. And when you oh. maintain property for the council and you have a two years in prison, they will be automatically taken away. This is not Nigeria. Mm. Mm. Okay, so you cannot go and start maintaining property or your company will be responsible for vulnerable people in their buildings. I knew he had this problem, but he's in the UK. He's well, he's well managed here. But this guy suddenly called me one day and said he's moving to Nigeria. I'm okay, like, so I, he moved to Nigeria because he was broke. He was not broke. Whoever told you he's broke, they're lying. He mm. was not mm. broke. He has properties. He has life. But his company went down so he went into depression and now he, he can't go to america because he can't go to the u.s he can't go to any western country because of mm. his criminal record and he wanted to go to nigeria and reset his life okay that is how he moved to nigeria in, in 2021 mm. okay you can go mm. ahead. let me not just okay. jump over the case okay, okay. there were three cases Mm -hmm. That Harrison reported. Selim, yes, please. Um, Afiba and mm -hmm. some other girl who came and said she showed us uh, some injuries that she sustained trying to run away from Andrew, who from his property, from his property, after it was alleged that Andrew K I D N A P P E D her. Mm -hmm. now these three stories sound very similar 
that mm -hmm. is where I draw my personal suspicion from. I may be wrong, but I'd like you to throw some you are, light on it. You are, you, ever... absolutely, you are absolutely right. Mm. And that is not just the three story. There are more stories. Andrew has thrown a girl out of his balcony in Podacot. Like, throw the girl, throw. The girl had a spinal cord. I want you to listen. It's not easy for me to do this, but I'm doing this so that Nigerian government can learn so that a condemned human being cannot come to Nigeria and do what they want. And let me go back again. I'm leaving Selin, I'm leaving after B, and I'm leaving the other girl. Let me take you back a little bit in Parakot. And that big man of his that say, you know him, don't call his name. They will know about this. Andrew moved to PH. Andrew, the first three months, Andrew was in prison in PH. What did yes. he do? The same thing. Girls reported him for... I want to give you correct invent so that bloggers that are running away with shadows, they will know they are hearing from the right source. And I've been... I put myself out there to change the narrative. Because what would have happened is this. They would have just pushed all this narrative. The case would and more prisoners can move to Nigeria and do the same thing again. Oh, wow. And no lesson, and no lesson will be learned. No lesson oh, wow. will be learned. Do you have evidence to back your claims? It's not evident. If I have evidence, I was aware of the case, like totally aware of the cases that he's been to. Hmm. The police in Port Harcourt is aware. The state CID, who gave him a GUN license, the state CID who gave him a GUN license in 2022 and to return back to Nigeria in 2021, the GUN license that you see on the video that he's given to, the, was banned in 2022. They backdated it for him to 2016. And they took money from him. And he was using this thing to tell it, to do the big man. I am not coming here to defend him. I'm coming here to tell you we have a system that doesn't work. Now, 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 let me ask you a question. If you are aware of all these things, if you are aware of all these things going on, why didn't you talk to him? I was speaking to him. You don't understand. I was speaking regularly to him. And I was telling guests to marry. Marry somebody that can calm you down. Logs of messages. Logs of text messages. It's not everything I'll come here and I'll start telling you. For that kind of a guy that have risen to the pinnacle of management to descend to that level, you have to understand. I was telling him, I was, I have my kid. I have been in this country for more than 20 something years. I have never seen police van, the back of police van, never seen it. My record is as pure as gold. And I'm telling him, pick a lesson, learn, learn. Stop this thing that you are doing. Get married and live your life. It was not easy for him. But the Nigerian police, the environment he moved back to, encouraged him. You give mm. him a word. You give him a gun. When he hung, when he, when he hung this girl and he went to cell, they give him his phone. He called me from cell. And he said, I have a problem. Blah, 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 blah. I have I'm like, what's the problem? He called me from cell. Are you listening to me? I can hear you. The CID, if anybody watching in CID, you guys know what I'm talking about. It was a big, wow. big shot. Just imagine you are a big shot in 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 in, in Podakot. The police police respect you and they come to you. Wow. Of so, course, we like to hear from the side of the police. We like to hear from the side of the police. We 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 want to hear the whole. Story. Let me tell you. Let me let me let me tell you. Let, for those of you guys that are saying, why didn't you report to police? Why didn't you? Are you are you? Me calling police, police, Nigerian police, and say this person is doing this. He's doing with adults. He's having an adult, adult conversation with another adult. No matter how rough it is, he's an adult. If I see minor, that would have been a different thing. I'm a crafty writer. I would have written a, a petition against him to the Interpol. Already he was declared wanted here. Which I myself, he never revealed that one to me that he was declared wanted in the, in the UK. Mm. So when that incident happened, I thought this would taught him a lesson. But the, PR, the DPO that was in charge of that case in Port Harcourt, in Agui Road, and I'm giving figures now, 
Agui Road, Potako Police Station, was coming to Nakandu at home. The one that was supposed to be in charge of disciplining him for harming that girl. That is, if I'm correct, the girl that was thrown from the balcony. Yes. The girl that was thrown from the balcony, a poor girl, a poor girl from Uyo, I cried. But there are Thing. There are traumas you see in life that you are you are now. You are let, thinking, let me ask you, yeah. what happened to the girl? Is she okay now, or she? I have no clue. I don't have I don't have a contact with these these girls. He he will tell me the story, and then I will hear the story. Some of his staff will tell me the story. He has staffs. The guy started a betting company. He has computer, and then he he do a lot of betting in millions. So Andrew. Now, I want to ask you a question, and let, let, let's, let's narrow down to Black Sheep, his company. Yeah. Was Andrew, do you think Andrew was working with a syndicate? He's uh, not working you, for no syndicate. Do I don't know where he was trafficking stupid conspiracy. O R G A N S. Of what? O R G A N S. No. I, not that I'm aware of. And I can tell you this from a pure. That company is registered in the UK, in a company house in the UK. So when I hear that one from your platform, I'm like, where did they get this one from? When mm. I hear that he's- It was just story, my suspicion. No, it, I, I've been hearing it. When I hear that there was this chopping woman B, I'm like, where did they get this one from? I will come here and tell you, there is a lot of narrative that would have just gone under the carpet and the bigger picture, the bigger message would have gone lost completely. And my mission, I want Nigerians to take this very serious. My mission is that Nigerian police must stop being compromised. They must protect our women. When a poor girl come and report to you, take it serious. Don't sweep it under the carpet. They enable him for this. You talked about the girl that Harrison spoke about, about the young lady that said he has to throw, him, throw herself out of the stairs, out of whatever, in January, whatever. If that girl report would have taken serious, Andrew wouldn't have a, get a chance to harm the other girl in April. That and girl that girl's be... report, let me ask you, yes. uh, the one who jumped, they yes. said Andrew would forcibly do front and back. Is that I got, no, I got no clue on that one. In short, to be, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm going to be real honest. I never hear about that one until that one came up. But that girl also went to the police station. When that girl, when the story came out and I read it, and I read it on Harrison page, that girl also wanted the police to, what did police do? Police have a chance to stop this guy one million times before this time around. So I'm not coming here to cry for the dismiss of Andrew. I'm coming here to talk about the decay in our system, whereby we protect the rich over the poor. That's why I'm came. Because if I didn't speak, that freeze. If I would, if I would have just kept quiet, if I didn't call just Adotu and told her I was driving just Adotu to London, to central London, and I showed her and I'm like, do you hear this story going on? He said, she didn't know about the story. I'm like, this is what's going on. I said, do you know this guy is from our city here? And this guy is a person that I know very well. He said, what? I open my phone. I show her. I said, please, we want to highlight this thing. And my focus was not just to find the young ladies that are missing. I want lesson to be learned because that is what the Western country do. Why did this happen? Hmm. Okay, now let's let's hone in on um, Celine and Afiba. What mm -hmm. do you know about Celine and Afiba? On the on the eighth of May, around midnight, I got a couple of message from Andrew around twelve twenty four precisely, and everything I'm saying. Go to the to the blog. Go to, go to my page. The screenshot. Everything is there. I got a message. Hey, buddy. This is my last message to you. I am going. It has been a challenge for me. I just want to tell you that I'm done. I'm like. So what do you mean? I wrote him immediately. That was on the eighth midnight of May. I started writing him. What's up? What's going on? Are you okay? Is it money? What's going on? Or oh, Ben, you don't understand. I've been struggling. This is just the last straw for me. The messages are there. The, the catalog of messages are there. 
I'm like, what is going on? Talk. Then he didn't talk. The next time he talked to me, I called him. He didn't pick up. Then he talked to me. Then he said, the police barricaded me. I'm inside. I'm like, what's going on? He said, I'm inside. He said, I barricade myself inside. I'm like, no, is it about the, is it about the GUN? If you have a GUN, and give it to them, what is going on? So the next thing he did, pa, 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 he sent me, um, he scared me a screenshot. I didn't have time to even check the screenshot properly. I was just trying to communicate with him to make sure he didn't do the undoable at that particular time. I said, don't take your own uh, life. Don't do it. Don't do it. What's going on? Then I go into the message. Then I saw a screenshot of um not selling yeah selling selling um selling an afiba conversation where he was negotiating price with them so come and spend weekend with me and then and the girl was asking for one million uh, for both of them and i look at it then i asked hold on guys because nigerian job like to jump with falsehood i don't do falsehood not me I, I write, I said, is it about girls? Please don't do something stupid. Hand over yourself to the police if they're outside. That's what I wrote. Then he, he, no, no talking again. So at that particular time, they said there was about 30 police people in his compound. And, I'm, and I was, I keep on trying to check on him. I'll call him, he won't pick. Then say, buddy, I can't talk. He'll write me, I can't talk. My battery can't talk. At that particular time, they say he barricaded himself inside his room. And then the police are outside at the gate and everywhere. So they are coming to arrest him at that particular time. So this is the, I, I was thinking, is there anybody with you? In my head, I'm like, this guy have taken a hostage. I said, this guy have taken a hostage. And I know he has GUN. So hmm. I'm now thinking now, what is the best way to talk to him to make sure the damage is not bigger? I said, Hand over yourself to the cops. Hand over yourself to the cops. He didn't talk to me again. He did, and I was waiting. I didn't go to bed until about 2 something. 2, maybe 2.45 a.m. I decided to close my eye. In the morning, I write him. No answer. At that time, they have taken him. So I was, I was later told that he submitted himself at 3 a.m. in the night to the police. So that means my conversation that I had with him, where I was telling him, don't do something stupid, that actually works. Because he has his GUN inside his room with him. He could have done undoable. But I didn't know there was this guest. Well, I thought the guest, well, he holds the girl hostage. I didn't know the guests were missing. And I did not know the girl were missing until the 22nd of May. I From the 8th till the 22nd? Yes. yes, I did not hear anything anymore. So I thought the undoable unthinkable has happened i was communicating with everybody i know that could reach out to him mm. i call his mm. i call his auntie that i have the contact i text messages i send the number to my people in nigeria to call with a local number if they will pick up nobody talk so i assume maybe this okay, guy i want to bring harrison arrested. now harrison i'm going to bring you in five minutes but i want this gentleman to finish his story so finish so, um so harrison i'm bringing you now i'm sorry I got carried away with this. Bringing you now. Two minutes. All right. Let, let's finish with your story so I can add uh, Harrison. So what now happened to... I, I, I'm sure by the time before he was transported, or I'm assuming that before he was transported, mm -hmm. he communicated with you. No. He didn't communicate with me after the eight. The next time he communicated with me was on the twenty second. Fact. Okay. So, what was the conversation he had with you on the twenty second? On the twenty second, he reached out and he told me they are accusing me of kidnapping two girls. Then I had a picture. The he never sent me any 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 bad picture of these two young ladies. He sent me the video of them in the room. He said this at uh, that the this video came on the twenty second. On the twenty second, okay. he sent me the video of Celine and the other one. They were not in any. Um, they were not doing any any bam bam. So the girls were lying down. One was lying down like this. Then the other one was on the other bed. But they look 
much down. I that was the video I showed to just Adetu, and I said this video looked bad. I said, and me and just Adetu was looking at it in the car like this. Say, I said this looked bad. He drugged this girl. Can you forward the video to me? I will, hundred percent. I said, I said, I said this looked bad. He, they don't use something. Yes, because one of them was lying down like this. Then the other one was the other side like this. Yeah. I shared this video with just Adetu. And then just Adetu told me. Just Adetu. Just Adetu. Sure people know. Adetu. Adetu. Sorry, my apology. Yes. Just Adetu. All right. Just all Adetu. Right, right. Just Adetu. Sorry. Then what happened was I shared it with her. And then mm. I said, and I went on Harrison page because Harrison was doing everything to research about this guy. And what Harrison was saying, the picture was not added up to the, the person I know and the person they are talking about. So we connected Harrison. We had a live video. A Facebook. Okay, I'm bringing Harrison now. Yes. Harrison is joining us back. But, but I wanted to hear uh, your part of the story. So what do you think happened, in your opinion, to Celine and Afiba? If I may tell you what I think it happened in that day, I think the, the everything that we fear may have happened. I'm a British. I'm not going to come here and start telling you, you did this. I don't do that. And I'm a journalist as well. You don't have fact, you don't speak. Mm. Okay? Mm. Because you could be held liable for that. I'm not a Nigerian whereby you say this person takes something, you start, you start knocking his head. No, we don't do that. You have to walk with what is available in front of you and nobody can bully me to say oh he did it no 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 no. something happened and that's why i am thinking what are the police covering why did they take andrew finally after they released andrew on the 22nd right daddy freeze just think about this please listen to this andrew was released on the 22nd immediately andrew got released there was a letter and a petition, and they say you are going to Abuja. And mm. he was released from Umaya on the 22nd. On that 22nd, some team of police arrived from Abuja, supposedly from what do you call it? From IGO police. Please pay attention. Mm. Pay attention to the scenario so that you can make up your mind. Supposedly from IGO police then Andrew wrote me that morning and say they are taking me to Abuja that the preliminary hearing preliminary find out of the police in Aba in a, in Abia state have confirmed that these guests were on a self kid they have given me back his phone they have they have asked him that he's going to Abuja to answer question and I'm like great call your lawyer go to Abuja and answer question that's what I said and then they went to Andrew's house the police follow Andrew back to his house. This police that came from Parakon. First of all, the police from Abuja and the one, uh, the police from Abuja and the one in uh, uh, Umaya had a clash because the one in Umaya want to continue handling the case. The one in Abuja say we are here to take him. So they had uh -huh. a clash. Harrison can confirm that. But they finally come together and they handle they hand over Andrew. To the one that came from Abuja, uh, they took Andrew back to the house. Are you listening, Daddy? Please, yes. please, 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 because I want you guys to take fact. They took Andrew back to the house. Andrew took a shower, clean up, loaded his car. Are you listening to me? Andrew told me he requested to drive his own car. Hmm. Yes. On a fact, he said, I requested I want to drive my own car. They said, I'm only going to answer question. So he got his clothes, all most of the clothes that he did, get his laptop. His GUN was taken by the police to put in his car. Police helped him load the car. <laughs> Just listen, Nigerians, before when I go they run, like, 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 that's why we have deserve bad government because when I know they look at things critically. His GUN, somebody on M charges, somebody on double homicide, potentially double homicide, somebody on a kidnap, somebody that IGO police say, bring for us the Ghanaian embassy is interested. This is becoming an international issue. That is a priority. That is like 
extraditing Escabo. The guy loaded his car. Andrew drove. I hope Harrison hear this. Andrew drove. The police did not drive. The people that drove from that compound, it was Andrew. The police sat with him and they drove. Where are they heading to? Ask me, Daddy Freeze, where are they heading to? Is it not Abuja? Where are they heading to? They're heading to Abuja. Why didn't they go by plane? Ask me one question. Ask me. I don't know. Ask me. This is this is where this is where the puzzle is right now. For those of you guys that are not listening, you guys were like, uh, because this is not the, the issue of these young ladies now. It's no longer a priority for the police. For two weeks that Andrew was in prison in Umaya, Hart arrested Who did police in Umaya arrest? Did they arrest his driver? Did they arrest his cook? Did they go back to the house to search? Did they do any research? Did they walk around the community and make inquiry? What they know? That is the basic security check that they're supposed to do for somebody that you accuse of killing young ladies. The police did not do anything. Andrew was in prison with them. They were siphoning his money. He pays 600 grand to do tracking, 600,000 for that two weeks for police to use to do tracking of the girl. The police came back to him and told him that you, that they find out one of the girl's phone is ringing. This is a case of self. Please go ahead, please, because I don't want to start giving you everything. All right, Harrison, all right. Harrison, 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 forward Harrison the video to one... me. Forward the video to my DM. Let me have a look at it. Um, in the meantime, Harrison, uh, what do you have to say about all this? <clears throat> all right. Um, first, uh, uh, Mr. Ben, I don't have any uh, grudges against you or any issue with you. You know, from that first video we made on um, on. Uh, is it adult? I don't. Is my mom you? I'm like. I don't know. I'm like. I'm like you. My tongue is so bad. I grew up in Igbo land. Some of the. Uh, uh, thank you, Naimu. Me. I'm one for. I grew in Igbo state, so I don't. I don't yes. know. <laughs> All right. I, don't, I grew so, up in Igbo so, uh, state, so it's hard for me to pronounce okay. some of the words as okay. well. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um. First, you know, at the beginning, I wasn't happy because I thought I was. My focus was that you are you are Andrew's friend. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. You know so much about Andrew, and you didn't complain. But later, you now told me that you know who will you complain to? The same police. So for me, I was I was I spent four years in the Nigerian prison. Now police mm -hmm. can't even go to prison. So I know how they I know how they configure stories, and I understand I understand I understood your own you know, side. Why you don't do you to, know? Do you know if I call on sir? Do you know if I call the police? For example, if I call the police in 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 Abuja. And I said, this yes. guy, I don't like his character and everything. Mm. Who do you think would pick mm. my call? If they I want to call the police, go and, even though you pick the call, they will still, you will still fall back to him and tell him, if I, him, this like, is if I call for so who do you think risk. would pick my call? <laughs> if I call about who would pick my call? We don't have right. a system. Please so, go ahead. Um, yes, so I want to clear one thing. The chat that you received from Andrew about Celine demanding one million naira. Do you have a date? Is there any date on that screenshot? I, I want to check very well because, I'm yes, listening. because um, I know very well that Andrew can chat himself to claim that, you know, I know that one because the four victims that I spoke to told me that really Andrew took them hostage, that Andrew took their phone and was chatting as if he's the one, you are the one communicating with him. That just to have. Yes, I don't have a doubt that will happen. I, I Good. guarantee so, you this. Do you, is that chat you have that selling the money for one million dollars from Andrew? Do you have? Is there any date on that chat? Um, there was. There's a date on it. I'll forward it to Daddy Freeze so he can analyze it properly. I'll so please, Daddy everything. Freeze, immediately he sent to you. Please publish it. I will get it. I'll publish it. I will follow and forward then if to you. Go, publish. I will yeah. to me. I will forward it. <laughs> I don't want to interfere yes. with evidence. My own is to Okay, talk. okay, fine. My own is to if there is no death, if there is no death on it, meaning Andrew manufactured it. Because, yes, because the victim, the victim, uh, I want to mention name because this is, we have to mention name now. 
the victim, or January victim, Rachel, said that Andrew took his her phone and was chatting, you know, with himself, with her phone. You understand? Mm -hmm. that's, what she, that's, that's what she said. So when I was even blaming that the victim collected one million naira or the money one million naira, until the victim said no, please. This um this girl, this guy may be lying. Try and find more because this guy did the same thing to me. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. So if you can, if there's a date on that chart, maybe beyond twenty sixth of 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 April, that means. This guy actually asked for one million naira. Okay, from let's, let me just say it here for the for the people that may listen it. Any chat that I'll send to you, I'll send yeah. it to you as it came from him, raw. Okay. Yeah. So whatever you, you see know, there, I don't, I don't have your number. Do you know, I want to, con I, I want to contact you. I would drop my number for, me. for you. I will drop yes. my number for you. We, I, listen, I will want to connect with Harry, you. I'm, listen, I'm sorry. Y yes, yesterday I wrote something yesterday. And if you check on my page, is is gone because Thank I have you. to understand something that on your own you are trying to play safe at the press. You understand now you are trying to protect more victims. That's just me. You understand. So at this point, now, I was the one telling. I told her just. I said you. You will help us. You will help us here because we are on Grand Nigeria. Please, if anybody is telling you, me Harrison, police can use me. Police cannot use me. They are telling me go jail for four years. I know what Harris, no what that I am. Harrison, Harrison. That's for me, Harrison. You know, you know, when we had our first conversation, yes. I was very honest with you because that was the first shock I had, especially when we had our first conversation. But when you went on Daddy Freeze Live on that night mm -hmm. and you give account of what has taken place, yeah. I, I knew immediately there's a problem here. I said they are not giving this guy the information. Mm -hmm. Because you are talking to the police. I wasn't talking to the police. When yes. you are going to Abuja to confirm Andrew's um, uh, status on the first day, just Adelty told me you are going to Abuja. And I said, okay, you are going to Abuja to check. I said, this is great. We supported you. So when you finally come back and you send that message that confirmed, you saw it, then we went continue. Then we went live immediately. Once you confirm it, that he was, he don't, they don't pay him. Yes. Okay. We went live immediately and talked about and talk about it, and then you went on Daddy Freeze, and the information you are giving is not from you. You are giving what you are related with, what yes. the police told you. The police told you they came to pick him. They were going to Abuja, and then uh, around when they got to Benue, really? Daddy Freeze. If I, like Daddy Freeze, please listen very well, please, and correct me if I lie, yeah. because <laughs> I I still recorded that conversation. The freeze is busy pressing. Yes, yes, I'm listening. I'm listening. Please, the conversation you have with Harrison on that night, Harrison explained, narrated what the police told him that happened, that transpired. They took him from Abba and they were heading to Abuja. And when they got to Benue, Andrew, the car stopped because Andrew was at the back of the car, I think with a chain on his leg. Mm -hmm. When I hear chain on his leg, I started to shoot my head. I said, no, 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 no. 